Welcome to part two of the Crochet Egg Holder instructions. You have now the flower or star in front of you. You will continue with slip stitches in the previous single crochet, three double crochet, and three chain stitches. Make three chain stitches for the first leg and five chain stitches for the bridge. In the next point of the petal, make a double crochet Add five chain stitches and finish in this point with a double crochet. Repeat five chain stitches, double crochet in point, five chain stitches and double crochet in the same point until you reach the first petal point. Pause video now. In the first petal point where you made the first chain of three, make your last double crochet of this round by connecting it to the base of the chain. Make a chain of five and connect with the third chain stitch of the first chain. For the fifth row, start with four chain stitches for the leg and add four chain stitches, one single crochet in the center of the first bridge, and four chain stitches. In the arch above the petal point, make a total of three triple crochet. Slide the thread through the loops of the triple crochet, but not the last two. Make two more triple crochet. and then combine them to form a cone shape. Next make a chain of four stitches Make another set of three triple crochet the same way as you did just earlier by combining them together with the last loops. 
once you have this set of triple crochet repeat two more times a chain of four stitches and a set of three triple crochet in the same arch you will then show four cone shapes for this arch You can pause the video if needed as I move on to the next step. Continue with a chain of four stitches that you will connect to the bridge with a single crochet and add four more chain stitches. Repeat four times the three triple crochet set with a spacing of four chain stitches in the same arch and continue with four chain stitches connected with a single crochet to the bridge and another set of four chain stitches. Pause the video as I fast forward. To connect the row in the last set of triple crochet, only make two triple crochet and connect with the third chain stitch of the beginning to form the cone shape. Now turn your project around. Make two slip stitches in the first two chain stitches below. Continue with four chain stitches. Connect this set to the next chain arch with a single crochet. Make another set of four chains that you will again connect to the following arch. Turn your project around and continue with two slip stitches in the first two chain stitches. Now end this bud by making a chain of five stitches that you will connect in the next arch with a single crochet. You will now slip stitch your way to the next triple crochet set. Each bud is the same. In the second chain stitch, make four chain stitches Connect them to the arch with a single crochet, make another set of chain stitches and connect it to the second arch with a single crochet.
then you turn your project around and slip, sli slip stitch two and make five chain stitches that you connect again with a single crochet and slip stitch your way. Once the star shaped doily is made, drench it with starch and place it in little glasses to shape. Let it dry out and place colored eggs for display.